when you create this big universe that people are, are so attached to, you have a lot of responsibility to both yourselves and the, and the people that you're exposing that universe to. Spartan Ops has very much been a, sort of a staging ground for us for the Halo universe. This is something that nobody's done before. One of the main challenges we had on Spartan Ops was the scope of the project. It was much bigger than anything we've taken on in the studio before. We had a lot of ambition for what we wanted to do with Spartan Ops. It was a lot of fun in that you know, it wasn't something that we'd seen before, so let's hope it works. Uh, and there was a lot of, hey, if we're going to be the first ones to do this, let's make sure we do it right. We found that the, the Halo community in particular has always enjoyed co-op and always enjoyed that social experience. And so the question for us was, how do you take some of those co-op experiences that have been around in the past in Halo and, and sort of give them a, a, a new spin? And we looked at what our fans wanted when they played co-op in, in the previous Halo titles, and we really wanted to find a way to incorporate that in the vision of Spartan Ops. We sort of drew a lot of inspiration from where Halo had been in the past with the campaign experience as well as Firefight. Really the only complaints we ever got was that there was no narrative structure in the Firefight mode. A lot of the campaign storylines and a lot of just the overarching stories of our characters are one of the main attractions to this game. Literally more than 50% of our audience only really cares about campaign and story. And so this was a way to give those guys uh, some of the, the sort of content structure and cadence uh, that their multiplayer brethren had been getting for, you know, basically a decade. One big thing we want to do is make the Halo universe even bigger for gamers. Uh, fans of the novels have had lots of extra characters to enjoy and to be fans of, and gamers have really only known a very small subset of that. So Spartan Ops was our first chance to go, look, here are all these other cool people. This allows us to tell many stories that touch on the novels, that touch on Forward and to Dawn. And we really got excited about the idea of delivering an episodic experience that would give players a reason to come back each week and experience an ongoing narrative. Axis is an um, animation studio in Glasgow and they're responsible for a lot of game trailers you see out there. One of the decisions in going with Axis Animation was our partner on the, on the Spartan Ops series was really seeing the passion that they brought to the material um, and the fact that we, we both had this shared vision, sometimes kind of a crazy vision of, of what we were trying to create on a, on a relatively um, compressed time frame. It's been really exciting to see them adapt very, very quickly to some of the work they're getting downstream from us. And I, I think they, they took it and owned it. And, uh, the relationship was fantastic. We did a great job. We're able to kind of leverage their expertise in, in cinematics and we're really work closely with them. It was quite uh, liberating to be able to tell something over a longer format. Usually the game trailers and things we do, we're always trying to tell a story, but we usually only got about two and a half minutes to tell it. They understood what we were looking for at a very uh, sort of deep, uh, visceral level. There was a real synergy there between our two teams, you know, we just kind of thought alike and, and creatively we were on the same page and so it just made the, the partnership uh, feel very natural. This project is just the biggest thing we've ever done. It meant that we had to come at it in a very unique way. They're able to bring a special something to the, the process that, that enhances it and makes it more than some of its parts. It got to the point where we felt that we could really trust Axis and, and the creative decisions that, that they uh, were making and, and driving in, in some of the uh, aspects of the show. I think it's quite a bold move on their part to actually do something more like a TV season. We're building the components and then literally airing them even as the rest of the series is, is being completed. This is a relatively um, untraveled path in the, uh, the game industry. I think the episodes were, were well received in terms of being something that people really were able to enjoy before moving on to the gameplay element. I think in the future there could be a lot of interesting ways that we could look at having different game experiences for gamers. Just as a fan, I wanted it to count. I, I wanted a reason to come back, and you know that reward of moving the universe forward was a big part of that. You are going to see characters returning, you are going to see characters have really meaningful impact on the universe, and we're not going to sort of ring fence stories and locations in the way that we have in the past. But we'll also be seeing new characters, uh, because we've learned this is how you bring them on stage, this is how you introduce them to fans, and this is how you get people to love them and care about them. 
So we are opening ourselves up for the future. We want to continue to tell these stories for years. It allows us to show the depth of these characters, and it just allows us to open the doors to this universe and to continue to build off of its strong foundation.